No Andrew Luck or Reggie Wayne in the preseason finale against Cincinnati last night. Coaches already satisfied with their progress so far. It took a while for the Colts to find this piece of real estate. They didn't score their first touchdown until late in the fourth quarter. Larry Bird keeps mentioning the fact that you're so young. You're 23, so you still have room to grow. What are your expectations of what you need to accomplish here in the next few years? Um, it's really being a leader. A busy weekend for Colts general manager Ryan Grigson as he tries to put the finishing touches on the 53-man roster. Danica, you're 27th in the point standings. I thought you were going right to say now. I was 27 years old. I'm like, you're sweet. 27? You're close enough. <laughs> right? 31. 2013 has been added to the Big Ten Champions banner at Assembly Hall. Most of the Hoosiers that were a part of the title run are gone. What's the status of forward Danny Granger? That's the question everyone wants answered. He played in only five games last season. Well, I tell you what, JMV, DHB is more than just a football player. He also likes to tell some riddles. A guy wakes up, wakes up, he goes upstairs, turns on the light, then kills himself. Why? Hmm. I get no more input on that? No, I mean, you could ask questions. You get ask uh, yes or no questions to kind of help you kind of figure it out. Where did this man live? Uh, he lived in a house. What kind of house? Was it a special house? Yes, it was a special house. I don't know. I give up. Uh, he lived in a lighthouse. He forgot to turn on the light and somebody died out in the water, so he killed himself. That's depressing. One last chance, Matt over to <sighs> long snapping to Brittany Deal. Let's see if we can catch it. Yes, she does! <laughs> Normally you would have to punt it. <laughs> Matt Overton, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next week. <laughs> Hi there, Zach. This is how you do a pre-game party in style. I'm here at the Crane Bay Event Center, just a few blocks away from Lucas Oil Stadium. And this is the home, at least before the game, for the sport events com VIP tailgate party. Things just getting set up over here, but I'm telling you, this is the place to be before kickoff. As for the game itself, the Colts are heavily favored in this matchup against the three and six Rams. Trent Richardson has been a main topic of conversation this week. He missed a few days of practice with an ankle injury. He did participate on Friday and is questionable for today's game, but he told us that he will play. Richardson still trying to find his groove after joining the Colts in September. He's averaging 3.1 yards per carry and has only found the end zone twice. It's a lot more to come and I know it's going to come and when it do it's going to hit like I always say it's going to hit hard and so um, we start you know just just digging in the ball with the with the running backs just more to come. Our own Chris Hagen will be sitting down with Trent Richardson one-on-one -on -one for that pregame special we've been talking about all morning. 11.30 a.m. is when everything kicks off for us. We'll have a lot of exclusive interviews for you. As for Trent Richardson, well, last week against Houston, he only had eight carries, so the Colts certainly want to feed the running back just a little bit more today against the Rams. Live downtown, Brittany Deal, Fox 59 Sports.